then tomorrow's a good day. Hey, look, it's a little Spyro, man. I'll tell you yeah. this. Link's house is green. It's a green house. house is green. Green, 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 green. Oh, man. Oh, 2007 no, copyright. I mean, like, it literally looks like a green screen movie set. Oh man, it's Sierra, guys. But well, don't you remember the tactics Nintendo used to make their games back then? They would just render out uh, one image and slap it on there. No, I'm serious. It looks like a green screen setup at a movie. Chrome Studios, guys. Here, let me... So, Nikki, are you familiar with the Ty the Tasmanian Tiger series? I've heard of it, but I've never really seen it. The... I couldn't find the game anywhere. Yeah, it didn't it's really on sell Steam. well. Yeah, no. the first one is on Steam now, yeah. But either way, the people who made the Tie the Tasmanian Tiger series made the first two Legend of Spyro games. Yeah, who was the third developer that made the, the final game? I don't oh, know. No, I, think they're, I think there's some kind of no-name nonsense. I fixed it. Yeah, I you fixed plugins. it. Okay. I changed plugins. The Legend of Spyro, the Eternal it. Night, new game, it's going. It's go time. Okay, the only thing that the third game in the Legend series got right was Spyro's design. Okay, they finally fixed his head. <laughs> Why the frick do I have two hearts? I was supposed to have three. You took damage. What the frick is this crap? Hey Ryan, get a load of this uh, cutscene when it comes up and let me know how Spyro it feels to you. Uh, okay. Every time I hear get a load of this, I think of Eggman. Get a load of this. Get a load uh, of that. See, this is going to be really hard playing with a controller because of because the Z is always is already is at the freaking top of the screen. So, this is going to be fun. Sierra Entertainment presents... A Chrome Studios production. Okay, I forget. How much is this shield? The Shut Legend up, of Spyro, the Eternal Knight. Yeah, see, this would be perfect if I could get my freaking controller to work. I'm not gonna be able to Z-target at all. Womp. Okay, how much oh this no, shield? Cinder, no! Cinder! 40 rupees, okay. Oh boy. Starring Elijah Wood. Why is that so And Billy West. Why does Elijah Wood sound familiar? I have no clue. Frodo. Oh, that's right. You know, that's very uh, coincidental, because I've seen a lot of people compare The Legend of Spyro to trying to be like The Lord of the Rings. It is Lord of the Rings. That's hilarious, because Elijah Wood's in it. That's hilarious. Here's the thing. Spyro and Gary Oldman as of... Ignitus. Uh-huh. You know, whenever I first played Ocarina of Time, I, it always sounded like, like, Link, Link shouted crap. CRAP! CRAP! What were you and saying before, believed, Nikki? Before I, I interrupted you? I was said crap. What is it you want, Spock? I forgot what I was gonna say. Why do I have to Womp. I'm just ready to begin the best day ever now, the evil psycho she dragon. Wow, that is not Spyro. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, his neck's all stretched out here. Calm down, big fella. You're not content. You haven't even seen your mic yet. How the hell did they get uh, Elijah Wood, Billy West, and Gary Oldman to do the voices here? Okay, you ready? I don't know, but they probably should have put more thought into Sparks' voice. This was uh, probably around the time where they still didn't really care about voice actors uh, staying in video games in a series. Because Sparks' voice in the first game, as opposed to Sparks' voice here, it's just... Like, don't do that. Please don't do that. Wait, did Sparks speak in the first game? 
Sparks? No. no, Sparks started speaking in The Legend of Spyro. Oh. So I think Sparks only speaks oh, in The Legend oh, of Spyro. Oh, you mean the first Legend of Spyro. Oh, yeah, the first know. Legend of Spyro game. Oh. Well, not the, not the first Spyro doesn't... game. He speaks Morse code in the third game, in the, ori in oh, the original Oh, that's trilogy. right, yeah. Oh, because yeah. Of... In the third game, and in uh, Into the Dragonfly, he speaks with... Yeah, I haven't played this in a while. And then they got freaking... What, what's this guy's name from... What, what was that? Is it anyway? I did the, the... Wayne Brady! They got Wayne Brady to voice Sparks they got in the third They got Wayne Brady to voice who? Sparks in, in Dawn of the, of the Dragon. Oh uh -huh. my gosh. Wayne Brady freaking uh, voice a very tiny dragonfly. In, like... in all three Legend of Spyro <laughs> games, Sparks has noticeably different voice actors and it's really annoying. Freaking Wayne Brady though, like... Yeah, they, they, they even acknowledge it. He, cause... When they when Spyro asks Sparks, is he okay? He's like, hmm, everything's fine. Voice keeps changing, but everything's fine. Yeah. They even acknowledge it in the game. It, it, this is worse than the Carmelita situation. Yeah, but Carmelita, her slide, I love her slide one voice was great. Her slide two <clears throat> voice was great. She freaking got a cold in slide three, and but then Great Elisle did did a pretty good job. And I was actually really happy when, uh, when they, like, teased Sly 4, and they said that you guys are really gonna like who we got for Carmelita. And then when I found out it was Great Delia, I was like, well, that's kind of cool. Because, um, Great Delia did a pretty good job. No, the health bar looks different. <clears throat> so one thing they added in this game, as opposed to Legend of Spyro New Beginning, is they added collectibles. And at first I thought that was cool, but then I found out they only unlock stuff like concept art, and then I said, screw this. Mm-hmm. But concept art... You well, should send it to Steven. <laughs> Steven loves concept art. Yeah, Why Steven the frick is my third art uh, not showing up? I don't have a third heart right now. Third heart. Maybe it'll fix itself when I beat freaking uh, Goza. To get your third heart, you need about tree fifty. I need about three tree fifty. You know, the only reason I know the reference to that is because my one of my friends used to be obsessed with South Park, <laughs> and then he stopped watching. Okay, oh, so Ryan, you uh, remember the controls of Sparrow in the first game, right? How uh, circle is like flame and square is charged and stuff? I well, think so. Yeah. The circle is the attack button here, but to charge, for some reason, they map that to R1. Hmm. That's weird. You know, I want to see what this last plugin does. I'm going to see if this... Tw uh, t 10th anniversary helps at all. Oh, Sparks is glowing purple here. Yeah, for some reason or another. I mean, to be fair, the game doesn't look bad. But it probably just doesn't play bad. Or, I mean, probably just doesn't play great. It, it doesn't play bad, it just, I guess, kind of plays average. The problem I've been I've been playing this and I've been playing uh, Crash of the Titans a bit, and the problem with these games is they like I think they thought they could get away with making average playing games because of the uh, IPs they were using. They thought the IPs could probably net them the rest of the way. Because this game. And uh, Crash of the Titans. Oh, my third heart is They now. play like pretty average beat em ups. Mm -hmm. Guys, I changed the plugin and it gave me my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Plug in the heart. Oh, also, Ryan, in the first uh, The Legend of Spyro game, you know what Spyro's uh, story is? He, sp he spends his. He spends his. Uh, 
Okay, when it was still in a dragon egg, something happened to, like, all the dragons was it was with. There was a big with. war? Yeah, there was a big war, and the dragon elders or whatever were like, Hey, we need to protect this egg, send it off somewhere. And so they did. They sent it down a river, and then some dragonflies found him. And then they kept the egg, and Spyro hatched, and he lived with the dragonflies, and Spyro grew up thinking he was a dragonfly. Um, then he set, then he sets off on an adventure. Are, are you sure this isn't a fever dream that you dreamt one night? No, I'm, I'm I'll honest. I'll look up the cutscene right now, Ryan. I can There are moments in my life where I wish it was, so I could just have the old Spyro. Cause like what? Like what were they smoking? And and Spyro spends a good portion of his life thinking he's a dragonfly despite the fact that he is way bigger than Sparks or his parents so, and um, he doesn't realize he's a dragon until another dragon comes around and says hey you're a dragon no 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 what happened was is that uh, Spyro and Sparks were out playing and um he he there was an enemy that just came out of nowhere and started attacking and all of a sudden Spyro breathed fire, and Sparks is like, whoa, what's that? What did you do? And then, um, Sp Spyro's like, I don't know. Then they went back to Mom and Dad, and Mom and Dad told them the adoption story. Yeah, that um, happened. If you have any story inquiries, you should probably tell Nikki, or ask Nikki about it, because despite playing through all of uh, A New Beginning a little while ago, I don't remember much anything from it. So, that sounds like an episode of New Spongebob to me. <laughs> well, you know what? New Spyro. Yeah, uh, this is the last Spyro. Okay, this were was... they drunk high or like... What the, no, no, what happened was these they were were... were developers and publishers back in the era of 2007 and 2008 who wanted to take these IPs and make them cool. Yeah, but the, back cool. then, this is... You know it's what? Like I place. guess. You know what, Ryan? I guess it's cool. I don't know what's cool. We don't know what's cool, but thank God the fucking developers and publishers and shit know. I gotta know what's Dang hip it. with the kids. What, what, what freaking YouTuber said that? They're like, oh man, the freaking developers know what's cool or something like... Freaking did that. I forgot. Was it? I think that might have been Catacris. That might have been Catacris. Who knows? Or maybe oh Johnson. god! You know, actually, Ryan, if you think this is bad, have you seen like Crash of the Titans or Crash Mine Over Mutant? No. I, <laughs> I think I have Crash Mine Over Mutant. Nikki, sure. Nikki, you know how bad. They made all the all the characters look in Crash of the Titans and Crash Mine Over Mutant, right? I know, I know, I know. Oh, Jesus Christ. They... I mean, they, they okay! They the mask big time, I'm like, what? Okay, now Ryan, for, for as an example, uh, you know how Crash Bandicoot looked in the PS1 games, right? Yeah. Okay, Please. take that, turn his... Pants into jorts and put tribal tattoos on his arms. Oh, I think. I and give him a mohawk. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I God damn, about. people back in fucking 2000, whoever the fuck, were stupid. Like, what happened to his eyes? Who? Oh. Spiros. <laughs> And then they have, and then what? in Crash of the Titans, David Spade was the voiceless Sparks in the first one. I forgot to tell you that. David Spade. Yeah. Cusco. They end. You know Cusco what? Sparks. I'm building Cusco. You, you, Dope, you yeah. know what? With the personality he had in the first game, I can get behind that. And in all honesty, they should have kept him around for all. They should have kept it. I don't know why they kept I it. I like that voice the best. Yeah. Out of all the Sparks voices in the they, freaking Legend of Spyro series, I should have kept that. They probably, you know what? That means the. God it's, damn it. It's freaking David Spade, dude. Somebody just this expensive. It's David Spade, though. So instead of giving him more money, they decided to hire Billy West and then Wayne Brady. Oh, 
Well, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Billy West is most famous for 